guys, Miss Coach Craig, and welcome to my art class. Today, in honor of spring, which was March 19th, we're gonna make some 3D flowers. So, I thought 3D flowers would be more fun than regular flowers, so let's get started. So what we're gonna need is some printer paper, or eight and a half by 11, a glue stick, a pencil, some markers, and some scissors, but kid-friendly scissors, not kitchen scissors. So step one, we're going to color a piece of paper. Now, if you have some construction paper, this process will go a lot faster, but if not, we're gonna color some paper. Um, I'm gonna take yellow. I'm gonna color the whole entire page yellow. So once you color your whole paper, the color that you chose, Put that to the side and grab you another piece of paper to put your pattern on. To use the color purple. And I'm gonna put just some random triangles on there. Different sizes. As you can see, I am just making these random triangles. all over the page not making any sense at all but i mean it can just be any type of pattern so once you finish with your pattern you just set it to the side and now we're going to focus on folding this piece of paper so how you're going to fold this is kind of like um an accordion or a fan so you're going to go in and you want to try to keep it the the size of the folds pretty medium to smallish size and try to keep it real tight because you want to try to get as many folds as possible so you just say real tight because the tighter you go the more folds you get and the more strips you'll have and you'll see why we'll need as many of these little strips as possible and grab your scissors and you're gonna cut into the bent part of the folds so just so they'll be somewhat straight and have some type of order to them Then you'll have little strips like this. So now we have some of our strips. I put some on the side and I pulled out four because that's how many it takes to make a flower. So I'm gonna take one of these strips, flip it over. You want the color side on the back and the white facing up. I'm going to take this glue stick and you're going to put a little circle in the middle of it. You're going to take another one of these, another one of these strips, and you're going to place it right there. Then you're going to take some more glue, put it, you're going to make kind of like a snowflake and place it right in the middle. So you want these to always cross. And then this last one. Put it right here. And you're gonna put the glue. So then it look like a cute little snowflake. All right, so here come the little tricky part. So, you're gonna put the glue in the middle. I'm just gonna take one of these strips. You're gonna fold it in and press it in the middle. Okay, you're gonna do it again. Put glue here. You're gonna fold it in on top and put it in the middle. You're going to keep doing this for all of them. So I'm going to face it towards y'all. Here. Put it in the middle. Here. Drop. Put it in the middle. And it's okay. If you have regular glue, like the liquid glue, just put little dots and try to keep a very like small film of it so you don't have it so much glue on there but that's why i recommend using the glue sticks so you're gonna put it in the middle 
fold, drop, put it in the middle, fold, drop, put it in the middle, and then the last one, fold, and put it in the middle. All right, and then you have a flower. So now that we know how to do our flowers, I've already done the other two. And so I took a piece of paper, just folded it in half, broke it apart. I colored one side green and the other side I drew three brown dots to go in the middle of the flowers. Um, as far as the green paper, this is gonna be our stem paper. So just like we did with the flowers, as far as the folding techniques, um, I'm just gonna fold it like that. Now you can make those skinny or wide, depending on how you want your stems to look. I realize I like the stems to be a little smaller, but I don't think these are gonna come out like that, but it's okay, because I'll show you how to make them smaller if they don't. Okay, so I'm gonna hurry up and cut these out. So, got my three stems for the flowers, and now I'm gonna cut this out. Scraps to the side. So now we have our stems and our circles and now we're going on to our final steps. Okay, so now remember that pattern piece of paper we did earlier? We're gonna pull that back out. We're gonna place our flowers how we want. I think I'm gonna do this one, three up high. Then I'm gonna take my stems and I'm gonna place them under just so we can get a visual. Now these are a little thicker than I want, but it's okay. If you don't want them so thick, you can go back and just kind of cut them off with your scissors and to make them the same size, the size that you want them to be. Okay, so once I got my spot, I'm going to take a pencil and lightly trace the line so I'll know where to put my glue. You don't have to, you know, do it too hard, just very lightly with a pencil. Let's go like this. Go like that. Okay. So then I'm going to take my glue stick. And I'm gonna move my flower and place, place it here. Now don't try to put it up high, place it like where you put your line at and drop it right there. Do the same for the other ones. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the flowers, I'm gonna put some glue on the back of it. I'm gonna stamp it here. I'm gonna do the same. Oops, and stamp it here. Gonna do the same. I'm gonna stamp it here. So, now we got them. So then we can take the excess stems with some scissors and just cut them off. And now we're gonna do the last touch, which is adding a vase. So for this vase, I think I'm gonna do a square. So I'm gonna do just cut this length of the scrap paper we had left. I'm just gonna cut a basic box. Of course, if you wanna make one that's circular, I recommend, let me show you. You fold it, you make like a round shape. And then you can make like a, a round vase for them if you want. But I'm gonna take some, I wanted a more square one for this one. But, you know, to make a cute little planter's box. So, before we do that, I'm gonna make another design for it. I think I'm gonna use blue. And I'll make just a cool, like another cool pattern. So, something like, I'll make hearts. Then I'm gonna take this glue and add it on top of my three flowers. And so, I think we're done. And this is the final result. And these, of course, are two different examples of how you can arrange your flowers and different patterns you can play with. It's really completely up to you. 
Um, of course, if you do this, please tag us on Instagram at Girls Inc. Uh, Central Alabama. And thank you for watching. I've got a clear nature and give it more soil. So leave a like on this video.